in the comic style. That's the school you want to go to. Kapow, www.kapowschool.com I feel like I, I, I think I should be singing a, gen, a jingle. Dot com. Kapow school dot com. Kapow school dot com. Kapow school dot com. Dot com. Kapow school dot com. Kapow school dot com. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. want people to actually go to the school, not be turned off by the school. So I've been watching The Chosen. I've been watching... uh, Here's what happens. I I watch episodes I've been up to season two with my own episodes, and then we watch it as a family. We're only up to uh, halfway of season one. But I can't just... I, I just can't. I can't stop. I can't. Uh, let's make this brush a little bigger. Maybe not that big. Maybe not so big. Uh, Maybe 40 is a little too much. How about number 20? That's better. Gonna cover a little more area this time. Make it darker, darker, darker. And then we'll do that on the dark side of the head. So yeah, The Chosen. I was talking about The Chosen. Uh, I saw episode I forget what episode it was, but it was season two. Uh, the name of the episode is called Matthew 424. And, you know, that's not the most famous verse. That's not the most... Most people don't memorize that verse. So I had to look it up. Uh, all it says is that Uh, Jesus' fame was growing and people were coming to him to be baptized. Uh, Not to be baptized, but to be healed, excuse me. Um, So, it was... It started out with... I'm not going to give away the... the plot, but it was very moving. Very moving. as, As always. Someone else is coming down the steps. And your other steps on the steps. Greetings, Lady Bible Nerd. <laughs> Nobody can see. <laughs> this is radio. This is radio withdrawing. To what brings this pe- this pleasure? Oh, you got money? Yep, I have a whole check for three dollars. <laughs> they they spent postage to send a three dollar check. Factor in paying the person to write that for you. That's right. You have a check as well on the dining room table. Oh, I didn't see it. Yours is bigger than mine. Yours is two digits. Wow. Thank you. Mm hmm. Thank you, Lord. I'm not going to sneeze. Thank you, Lord. Amen. (laughs) How's it going with you? Oh, yes. I'm talking about uh, episode 
I can't remember which episode, but season two of The Chosen that I've been watching ahead, ahead of the rest of the family. So, uh, I'm going to stop talking about that now. <laughs> Since all the family can hear me talking. Have, about, you, have you talked about the wedding one already? Uh, no, I have not, but feel free to, to interject your, your feelings and your thoughts and if you haven't seen the wedding episode, it's worthwhile. Even if you've never watched any other episode before that. And why, in your opinion, is it worthwhile? Uh, because I've, we all know the, the basics of the story based on what the Bible describes. Yeah. Pretty sure even non-Christians know about the water being turned to wine. Some of them have heard of, heard of that. Yeah. Yes. But watching this episode is kind of like the difference of being at the wedding uh-huh. versus hearing on the news that you know I don't know what I can't think of a good example, but hearing a headline and actually being there. Right. So much more um, immersive. Yes. So much more emotionally involved. Yeah. So many different perspectives of you know the people hosting the wedding to you know the the servants. Even you can imagine the impact on them. Right. You know, as a mother, it was, I could put myself, you know, they did a lot of embellishment, storytelling, but I could put myself in the shoes of the mother of the bride, Mm -hmm. just wanting everything to be just right, Mm -hmm. feeling the pressure of, you know, societal judgment on whether you've done a good job or not, Standing in society at that time. Yeah. And if they had run out of wine, and apparently just the first day. Yeah. That would have been highly humiliating and embarrassing, and um, anyway, it was really powerful. Oh, bother! You know what I've just done. Nope, it's not your fault. I was drawing my ink lines on top of my pencil lines. Not on top of, but uh, incorporated within the pencil lines. So how do I undo all the way out? How do I, is there a revert button? Yes. Praise the Lord for digital technology. Yep. Not just undo, but revert. Okay. Okay. Starting from square one. Greetings, everyone. This is Artsy Bible Nerd. Thank you for showing up for the stream. Oh, here's the other thing that I took away from the episode. Yeah. The power of the miracle is not just about the miracle itself, but about how it impacts. Yeah. Who are personally and tangentially impacted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I get a lot from all of the, the chosen episodes. There's always an emotional element to the miracle, not just, hey, someone, tr- like, not like a, a science uh, experiment where someone turns water into wine in a lab. It was affecting the people, uh, affecting the people whose wine it was, whose water it was, that needed to be changed.
So my daughter, 